If you're a new swimming pool owner, you might find some of the valves associated with your pool system to be a little bit confusing. So let's just take a look at some of the more common valve options. Now these are ball valves here. They could have red handles, blue handles, anything like that. And how they work, that would be open, that would be closed. There's a couple different styles of these guys here. This one you're looking at, that's a single union ball valve. What does that mean? This here, that's a union. That's a threaded connection. It spins open and I could separate the valve for service or any other thing. So there's ones that have no union at all. So they'd look like this on both sides with no union nut in the center. I really don't like those. Anytime that somebody shows me a pool system and they're like, hey, what do you think of this swimming pool, Steve? And I see a ball valve with no union, I hate it, forget about it. The, the, the ball valves never turn properly and they always fail early. Even amongst pool pros, ball valves like you see here, single union ball valves and to a lesser extent, true union or dual. So ones where you'd have two unions, those ones are a little bit better. People don't complain about those as much, but for the most part, pool people don't really like these because they're not super high quality. You might have them, I wanted you to see how they worked, but let's take a look at something that's more common that you might have. So I've got one down there with some union connections on it as well, but let me show you one up here. So this is a diverter valve and this is by Jandy. These are really common. Um, there's a good chance that you have something that looks a lot like this on your pool system. Now this is a three-way valve, obviously. So the water could go this way, could go up, it's coming from the bottom. And you might have one that doesn't have this section here. It's just straight through. And then it operates kind of like the ball valve in that the water goes through it or it doesn't. You know, that would be the same idea down here with a Jandy diverter valve, even if it didn't have this piece here. You know, you could have that style. And I think pool pros would agree that they like these a lot better than these. Um, they're definitely better. Like, let's, let's get real here. Um, so this one in particular is the uh, is a two and a half by two inch. You can see that's an inch and a half pipe there. So there's a re reducing bushing there. Two inch pipe at the top, two inch pipe at the bottom. Let's say that right now you can see it says off there. Right there at the end of my finger, it says off. So right now this pipe is off. So that means this one's open and this one's open. But let's say I wanted to change that, right? So you grab this and you're like, okay, I'm gonna turn it off and you, Oh, something's happened here. It's, it won't go further. And this is where a lot of people will, will get confused. Sometimes it just goes no problem, but sometimes it doesn't. So what you need to do is you're just going to loosen this guy just a little bit, pull out just a little bit, a little bit more, and then you can turn it and go ahead and tighten it back up. So those are the most common valves that you're going to see associated with pool and spa systems and how you interact with them in terms of when they're open and when they're closed. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.